sponsor package for Larry. Here we have some of the uh, floating crawl tube. Get ready to do it. That's an awesome goodie box. And the top color is gonna be mine dust. That, that looks great. Look at that. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Chris Jones, and today's video, uh, well, actually, we, I have a full day of filming. So Larry Melton Jr. is still in town. This is part of our bait makers retreat weekend. And today, he's gonna learn the lovely world of hand pouring. So I actually have a sponsor package for Larry from Dead On Plastics right there. You see that box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of go with a, uh, we're gonna start this video with sort of an unboxing to see what Dead On Plastics sent him. I, uh, I basically called Travis and I said, hey, I've got an awesome bait making YouTuber coming down to hang out. Let's give him some goodies. So we have a goodie box. So we're gonna kind of look at that and then we're gonna use some stuff that's in it um, for his hand pouring training, so to speak. So uh, he just rolled up for, for the morning and uh, we're gonna take a look at this box and then we're gonna start him out on the six inch AI hand pour. We're gonna do it right, heat griddle, the whole nine yards and uh, I think he's gonna pour up some good stuff. Okay guys, so Dead On hooked him up pretty good here. I, I have to say, I'm jealous. There's a few things in here that I don't have, so uh, I need to get them. So basically, he's got uh, three gallons of plastic here. So that's the regular swim bait jerk bait. That's the black bucket sinking stuff. Just all the jugs are white. Here we have some of the uh, floating crawl tube. That's the feather like crawl tube. I think he's gonna enjoy that. And one of my personal favorites, the regular black label crawl tube, which is what we're gonna be pouring, <clears throat> or what Larry's gonna be pouring his six inch swim baits in. And they were nice enough to give him all the Paragon colors, which I don't even have all of them. There's the snow shine. And uh, yeah, look at that. The green right there. The Beauregard, he's never seen those colors and I think he's gonna love it. So get ready, dude, that's an awesome goodie box. So yeah, I, I, I wanted Dead On to hook you up and uh, yeah, good. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna have fun with this stuff. We're about, we're about to get into it guys, yo, stay tuned. Stay, stay, stay tuned. tuned. All right guys, so we got the molds on the griddle. <clears throat> got the griddle heating up, we just set it to about 300. First cup of plastics in the microwave. But I figure what we're gonna do is we're gonna make good use out of these Paragon colors that he just got in his package. So I'm thinking maybe a snow shine belly, a uh, green highlight, this opaline green uh, middle vein, and then a mine dust <clears throat> to top it off. So in a lot of swim baits, you kind of want you kind of want it to go from dark to light. Your darker your darkest color on top, and your lightest color on the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do. We got our dent on plastic uh, craw tube cooking. Larry's here. And uh, so we have all the ingredients that we need. We got Larry, the plastic, the colors, the molds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pour the first one to kind of demonstrate in person how to do it, what to kind of just, you know, because it's such a feel thing. I think if he sees it first, he'll be able to pick it up quicker. So I'm gonna pour the first cavity then I'm gonna let him do the next three and we should have four good baits. All right guys, so we have the dead on snow shine. We have a little mix there between this Paragon effect and <clears throat> the regular dead on chartreuse. And then the top color is gonna be mine dust. So I'm gonna set my camera up and just kind of demonstrate to him what hand pouring is all about in person. And then we're gonna film him filling in the other three cavities so here we go all right everybody i'm gonna go ahead and pour this first one and uh just kind of show them what we're doing here all right say when right. actually we'll start with this one it's a little bit easier to film all right so the first thing is you want to determine how high up you want that belly color to go you see those hook slot inserts what from just my experience with this mold <clears throat> i want to pour the belly color just to the top of that, okay? So, watch the way that plastic is flowing up. I wanna stop it right when it kinda of gets to that top, top of that slot, just like that, all right? You see how I've just barely covered the top of that little 
insert that sticks up in the, in the middle of the bait, <clears throat> all right? So now what I have to do is I have to let that set for just a minute or two. That way that color is set enough to where I can then pour the middle vein color and it won't just mix in and it just create a big mess. So basically that needs to sit for just a minute and then we'll pour the next vein color. All right, everybody. So now I'm just going to show him kind of how I pour my veins. And this is the tricky part. As you guys know, you really have to control the flow. You don't want it to go all the way down the tail. And in most cases, you don't want it to go all the way up to the nose. All right, so here's what we're doing. I want my plastic to just go beyond that bottom layer up into the tail section, but I want to stop it about right where that eyeball insert is. So if you look at the mold, you'll see those little eyeball inserts, okay? I want to stop the plastic about there. So I want to start my pour kind of in between the two. So I'm not going to start it on this end. I'm not going to start it on this end. I'm going to start it about in the middle, okay? Let me know if you need like a better camera here. Okay. So you want to pour your veins slowly. All right. And then you're just going to kind of let the plastic flow. All right. So you can also blow on it to stop it where you want it because that'll kind of help set it up. And if you look, it just cleared the tail section. So you see how it just float that green just flowed over that, that white pearl belly. Okay, so now I have that middle vein color exactly where I want it. It stopped right there in the eye socket and it went just beyond that bottom color. So that is what I consider a perfect vein pour. That they don't always work out that well for me. You know, even even with my experience, sometimes I, I mess it up. But now, essentially, we're ready for the top color. All right, guys. Now we're going to do the top, and um, Larry's going to get his camera rolling. And so, you're, if you watch both our videos, you'll kind of see some of this same exact footage, just from different perspectives, which I think is one of the unique things about collaborating. All right, so here we go. You don't have to be as precise with the top color. You just need it to fill in the cavity. And so I like to just kind of move my cup along the cavity of the mold. You can pour it just from the top or just from the back and it will fill itself in. But this just kind of saves a little bit of time. And you basically just pour it until it fills up to the top. You want to try not to over pour it. Over pouring it, I think is where a lot of people make mistakes. And it's, and it's it's honestly where I make still the, the most of my mistakes. Whenever I am making a mistake pouring, I usually over pour the cavity. But that one right there looks pretty clean to me. All right, Larry's turn. I've got his camera. I've got my camera right here. There you go, guys. All right, we're going to get real close up with his camera. Very good. Just to the top of that hook slot insert. Yep, so just keep it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Interference there, y'all. That, that, that's, that's not his bad. Just to the top of that. So, okay, looks good. Go to the next one. Yep. I'm going to try to get like a... Yeah, very good. Just, yeah. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. Yeah, those don't look bad at all. Look at that plastic flow, isn't that, isn't that gorgeous, you guys? All right. Whenever you're, whenever you think you're done, we'll, we'll now get a, a little bit oh, closer view here. All right, folks, here comes the hard part, pouring the veins. It's all about control and it's also about temperature. You don't want the plastic for your vein color to be too hot because then it's going to run like way too fast and you're not going to be able to control it. So you want to pour it at sort of a low temperature, about 320, 330, and that just kind of gives you a little bit more flow control. So Larry's going to take over and let's see how he does. All right, it's vein time for Mr. Melton. Let me, uh, all right, yeah, I got it, I, I'm good. Start it a little bit further up towards the tail. Yeah, all right, now, now start it. Yeah, just however, whatever feels natural to you. A little bit more, a little, little bit more. 
Yep, keep, keep pouring. All right, pour a little bit more towards the tail maybe. Just, just a smidge. It's running through it. Okay, okay, no, yeah, yeah. You, you have a better angle on it than I do, so if you think it's gonna make it. Yeah, all right, yeah, let's go to the next one. Should be okay. All right. It seems about right. It, it should flow to the end of the tail there, or to the end of the pearl on the bottom. <laughs> no worries. I'm trying to get your camera to focus. There we go. All right, let's let's take a look here. All right, guys, Larry's veins look really awesome. And so, <coughs> sorry, now he's going to uh, fill it in with that top color. Here we go. All right, let's get those top colors on there. <coughs> yep, however you have the most control. Yeah. You can, you can actually rest the cup on the edge of the mold too and pour it from the from the head. But no, I mean, that, that's actually looking really good. And, and again, the, to me, the hard part is not overfilling the mold. So like you can move it, yeah, move it a little bit up towards the head a little bit more. And then, yeah, yeah, that, that's about good. Now I'll go on to the next one. Beautiful. Look at Larry getting on these on these top colors here. He's got it. Uh, little, that one that one needs more plastic. That's not quite full. Not quite full. Give it some more and give it some more up towards the uh, head portion too. Oh, oh, all right. Yep, that's that's fine. Yep, go, go to that last one. <coughs> Yeah, that's looking real good. And then you can kind of move it down, yeah. Kind of follow it down just a little bit. Pouring in the tail portion is obviously a little, a little bit more difficult. Yeah, very good. And then move it back up some, because that, that head portion needs a little bit more. Yeah, that, that looks great. Yeah, that last one was definitely definitely the best one. That last one's gonna be the competitor with you. Yeah. Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> well, because that that one was your best vein too. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and opened mine uh, just kind of uh, ahead of or first, so to speak, <clears throat> just so that we can just kind of um, see how his compare. So I should have got mine a little bit hotter actually. Even though I poured mine first, I should have got it a little bit hotter. But his, I think, are ripe. Actually, I'm going to film it from this perspective. All right, uh, grab the drumsticks. We got to do a drum roll. All right, I'm going to do the drum roll for Larry's first hand for us. Here we go. All right, you do the honors. I'll hold your camera. Which one should I do first? Which one? Let's Which see, one eeny, meeny, uh, middle? middle? I don't, I don't know. Sounds yeah, middle. Good. First one. Yep. Let's open it. First. Yeah, yeah. Sort of open it from that from that angle. Probably a bro. Pop it this way so that we can get it in both frames. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You should just be able to just kind of work it apart. There it goes. Yeah. There it is. And just kind of pull it out. Yeah. Oh. I'm proud of that. Look I'll at take that. it. I'll take it. Oh yeah. Sorry. I. I've been. I'm trying to watch like both cameras here. Look at that, dude. I think. I think you got me beat. Look at that. I think my line went a little bit too far up into the eye. Oh, uh, you know. You know what though? The but, cool. The, the cool uh, thing is, once you put the eye on, yeah. it looks like it stopped perfect. So in in a way, that to me, that's that's a perfect pour almost. So, dude, what do you think? I'm proud like of you. that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Like 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 spe Yeah, especially if you've never done it. Yeah. yeah. Open that second one up. It's coming. Yeah, you can just rip these apart. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the lolly. Yeah, that one looks good. That one looks about the same as the first one. And that's what you want is yeah. is is consistency. Pop it down here real quick so that we can give give my viewers a a shot of it there. Oh yeah. See, hand pouring's easy, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, let's get that last one. Last one. I should I get it in your video too? Yeah. It's hard filming the same video oh, from two yeah. angles. Oh yeah. Yeah, guys, these look good. That's it. That's these the are deal. legit right here. Chris knows what he's doing, guys. That so. that's the juice. So yeah, there it is. Dueling swim baits. So uh, now we're gonna grab some eyeballs. I'm gonna let him choose what color eye he wants and uh, we'll finish these babies off. All right, y'all, Larry is a good friend because he chose the logo eyes. Look at that. He wanted the logo eyes on his first baits and I have to say, it looks terrific. It's just excellent choice there. So these are Larry's pores. We didn't, we didn't put an eye on my pores because these are, today's videos is really about Larry. And uh, man, dude, isn't that sick? Like it, and the thing and and folks the the key is heat pouring on the heat griddle allows you to get the plastic and the molds to the correct temperature to get nice even laminates that are going to bond the plastic together nice and even you know there's just flawless seams between the colors and heat pouring a hot mold with hot plastic is key to getting a good clean swim bait if you look at them they just look clean and yeah Awesome job, awesome job, my friend. So yeah, yeah. Pose, pose with your masterpiece. There it is. Yeah, that's awesome stuff. All right, guys. Last little glamour shot. You know, I those look incredible. Man, I wish my first hand pours would have looked that good. All right, guys. That was a lot of fun. That's the first time I've ever like <clears throat> demonstrated and shown somebody hand pouring well excuse me that's a lie i've done that with my friends a lot that's the first time i've done it with somebody like like larry who's already making baits and, and, a, and a big youtuber but had never hand poured so you know a lot of my friends that have just kind of been hanging out with me over the years as i've made baits they come over sometimes and i'll show them stuff but most of them don't really try the hand pour thing they're just like yeah i'll leave that to you it's they don't love bait making like Larry does. So, you know, some of my friends, they'll they'll come run injection, remelt. Larry has a passion for bait making, if you guys can't tell. And so hand pouring was something that he really wanted to learn and put emphasis on while he's here. We're obviously gonna do several other types of hand pours. Just probably won't be able to film all of it. But um, yeah, he did an awesome job. So uh, <clears throat> his channel is gonna be linked in the, in the description below. Definitely head over to Larry Larry's channel hit the subscribe button and if you feel like you know you can also subscribe to me too if you want so you know apparently there's a lot of you out there watching who aren't subscribed and uh you're not gonna catch any fish so with that said we're gonna wrap this video up it is lunch time we've got the rest of the day to film a bunch more content and uh learn a bunch more uh do a lot of different styles of lure making so it's gonna be a long day folks but should be fun and uh we'll catch you next time